Oh, look, it looks like we got another letter. Another one? Who's this oh. one from? Another barmaid, let me guess. I don't know. <laughs> let me open it. Uh, it says, I triple dog dare you. Triple dog dare us to what? I do enjoy a good dare. Triple dog dare you. Is there uh, writing on the back? Is that why you're not seeing who it's from? Oh. Uh, it says Cerberus Rising. They sound fun. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like a threat. Yeah, it sounds like a villain. Uh, (laughs) It's going to be the neck that's going to swallow a crystal or something. Uh, That's Uh, all we need. Is that table the maple? Oh, yeah. I I I was listening to your letter. Um, I daple, and I launch a silence at him. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, thank goodness. Well, thank you for the letter, Cerberus Rising. I will, uh, as soon as you get that there, I, you know, let me know and I'll do it. No matter what it is. And I will not oh. regret the thing. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 we won't be doing that. But thank you yeah, for the letter. We definitely will. We definitely will. Welcome to Powered Fail, a Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition action play podcast. My name is Carlos and I am the Dungeon Master for these not dead yet group of heroes but enough about me let's get to the real stars of the pod starting with austin Ferric, the down but not out andy pickles i punched him so hard his arm fell off <laughs> nathan zoreen uh sh- shivering in her boots <laughs> ian jonathan bastille and it's time to die again zeus <laughs> and last but not least katie Idolia Rowan, who has never run from a fight in her life. And once again, my name is Carl, so this is episode 31, which, fun fact, is <laughs> nine away from 40. Right, there we go. <laughs> and this is our first campaign chosen of the Crystal Crown, but enough about that. Let's get in it. Last time, battle with Zeos continued to rage despite the death of of another guard and Christopher's brief drop to unconscious before a healing world brought him back. He did enough damage that Zeus was forced into his last resort. Clutching in his hand a piece of decay crystal, he consumed and transformed into an enormous, monstrous, sludgy new form. Seemingly revitalized his resolve and also probably his HP, he <laughs> summoned six more undead dragons into the field just as Ferex sounded the call to retreat from a seemingly unwinnable battle, Zeos's new body began to break down. And that's where we'll pick back up. Before we go there, the scene will change to the Ivory Guard, their headquarters, as Commander Boussat sits in his office. And suddenly, boom, a guardsman will walk in. He'll say, oh, Sir, sir, we must head to the keep. There's a, a huge battle going on with, with, with the, it's the queen and, and, and Commander Boussant will raise a hand and say, no need is being taken care of. But sir, sir, I said no need. And then we'll reach back into where we are right now as Zeus, part of his arm has flung itself to the ground. The sludge, the decay, the debris. The smell right now is hideous. Pickles, you move backwards a few feet. Christopher, unfortunately, is slathered very nicely with some of the slush, the body soup, as it were. Uh, And he goes, oh, gross. And then he looks up at this giant monster. He goes, oh, as he realizes he could die. Uh, which he's not doing good in health, by the way. He's, like, really bad. Um, Join the club. <laughs> all right. So it is now Zeus's turn as he will look to Christopher, who is right in front of him, and he will use his crystal bend ability. He'll move the fingers, almost like a puppet playing with strings. He must make a DC 20 dexterity saving throw. That's a 10. Mm. As Christopher starts to scream and writhe in pain, he will take 5d8 damage. And that's 28. (gasps) As Christopher, his body will slump to the ground as he is down. 
It is now Miraz's turn. Miraz, you have this dragon laying in front of you. Christopher is down. You see his body slumped. You see Christopher in pitched battle with this other dragon ling that's near. And your friends are in the corner as a horde of dragon lings seem to approach them. Not to be sword. What do you do? Oh, well, first I'll yell out, uh, Christopher, no. Um, I'm going to use my action to maintain Witch Bolt on Zeus, which is six lightning damage. Use my cunning action okay. to disengage as a bonus action. And I'm going to back up 15 feet into the little hallway. I'm staying kind of in the doorway, staying where I can still see the uh, chamber. But this way I can just dart out to the east once everyone else begins their retreat. That's all. And he is going to use a legendary action to move himself towards Pickles. He's going to reach out the claw and almost with some sort of vengeance, he's going to make an attack towards you, Pickles. That's a 24 to hit. That will hit. It only does. Should be a modifier on there. I apologize. Uh, He does 11 points of piercing damage. Uh, That is also... Nope, that's just piercing damage. It just goes straight to your shoulder. Is the modifier point. plus Reduced five? Reduced to six. No, it's plus four. But I did seven plus four is 11, right? 3d10 mm. was the damage that was rolled plus the modifier. Well, it's a plus zero, plus zero on the modifier. Right. One plus five plus zero, but it's supposed Oops. to be a plus four. Yeah. Apologize. That's fine. All right, and then it's going to be Adalia's turn now. So Adalia still has... Ferric's hand, but we cannot leave him here. We cannot run. He cannot be king of Mondstadt. Um, and with her free... Oh, I she'll use her action to pull Moonbeam back over to Zeus, and I need a con save. 16 DC. So he'll take half, and that is... Sorry, he got a 25 on his save. All yeah, so right. that there. is nine radiant damage. And uh, then with that same hand, uh, more radiant light. It's just, you know, basically cracking out of Adalia at this point. Like, like she has some sort of enormous source of light inside her that's just bursting out of the seams. And it'll go to Christopher and she will healing word him and that will be ooh only nine okay but he's up and that will be the end of her turn Christopher will just cough (laughs) stop killing me (laughs) (laughs) then someone can remind Christopher that he's not technically dead he's just unconscious so (laughs) okay Christopher will get up and he will say, I hate you, as he will strike with his dagger, 24, which does hit. He's going to make a constitution saving throw. Zeus is, see if he is poisoned or not. He is not with the 28s, and then he's going <laughs> offhand other dagger. Christopher is with a 16, which does not hint. And so in total, he takes a solid six points of piercing Okay. The horde of dragonlings to the south will make their moves. They will attempt to surround the others at the bottom of the south. That is Farrakh and Adalia. Uh, some of them will move forward and they will surge towards Christopher. Two of them will, in fact, as they begin to surround or Christopher. And then the other two will make their way try to move towards the others uh this one right here and this one right here the two that are closest to ferric will both strike ferric take him down 20 to hit for one attack and the other attack is an 11 the first one hits okay as it gnaws and tries to fight you succeeds taking only four points of piercing damage as the other tail attack swoops and you dodge it niftily uh, I'm going to use my reaction to speak words of agony as I sing. Um, must make a strength saving throw of 16 on a failed save. They take 2d8 damage and is pushed 
back 10 feet on a successful save. Ooh. It takes half as much damage and isn't pushed. So it's pushed uh, 10 feet back away from me, okay. and it takes two force damage as That's its so strength sad. save is seven. Mm -hmm. As mm -hmm. the dragonlings rolled a seven, they are push, push, pushed back 10 feet, and they both take that damage. Okay. And then the other dragon lanes who are the north, one in desperate conflict with Pickles, will again try to attack Pickles. That is a 25 to hit and an 18 to hit. Yes. Does it move closer, though? Because right now, it, unless it has a 10, uh, 10 foot reach. It does move so closer. Okay. Uh, both of those hit. Okay. So one does 12 points of piercing damage, and the other attack does 8 points plus three, which is 12. No, no, that is 11. 11. Carl's good at math. Uh, <laughs> so in total, that is 23 points of piercing damage. Haft, though, because I am raging and piercing is haft. There you go. So half. Awesome. And then the other dragon closest to the group in the north will just go to Christopher, harling and snarling. We'll try to injure Christopher. With a 20 to hit for one and a 16 to hit, which will both hit him as he'll take 16 points of piercing damage. And Christopher is down again, again, yeah. as he's just like, ah, as these poor creatures are really just trying to kill Christopher at this point. OK, and then Zeus will go ahead and he will open his hand, a pillar of light. Uh, green necrotic light will shoot forth and he will try to cast banishment. He will try casting it at you, Ambrose. At Ambrose. You must make a charisma saving throw. Six, seven. So you all just see as Ambrose is poofed from this plane of existence to uh, a plane of nothing and void. Uh, so you are gone, Ambrose as you just hear Zayao say, suffer. That, in, that lasts for one minute. Ferric, it's your turn. Ambrose, no. Ambrose. Ferric's going to turn to Adalia. Will you forgive me for doing the unimaginable? Sure there's anything I wouldn't forgive you, Ferric. Ferric reaches into their bag and takes a handful of blue crystal powder and huffs it. It's pretty bad. <laughs> but I did say I'd forgive you. <laughs> um, Needs okay. must and all that. Um, What's this do? I actually don't know. Carlos Good, said it to me, I so don't I have either. no idea. I haven't thought of mechanically what it does. Um, oh, I just assumed, I assumed it did nothing, because last time I did it, it just did nothing. Well, if it was really good, I wouldn't have given it away. All right. Well, things are kind of different with fair. Put it that way. I won't go much into Bruffing dead crystal people <laughs> Oh gosh Alright um, My hands are sweating roll a, roll, a, roll a d100 Farrakh. Oh boy 34 34 Yes As you just feel a surge of energy And even those around Farrakh would see That his body just stands up a little taller his eyes, your eyes, Farrakh, just get wide, and you feel as though you could destroy anything in your path. The next damage spell you deal is maximum damage. Nice. Okay, okay. Using an item is a bonus action, yeah? Uh, <laughs> yes, sure. <laughs> Farrakh's eyes burst with electricity, and he reaches inside of his face. And as his hand disappears behind this mask, he draws forth a line of energy, pulling it slowly until it shapes into a large, powerful, psionic spear. And he throws it at Zeos, dealing a max of 7d6 damage. Uh, so... 42. Seven times 42. 42. 
It's 42 Plus your damage. modifier if you if it gets one, or is it just? Oh yeah, it's, it's just flat damage. Uh, and mi- must make a intelligence saving throw. Team. That he is not incapacitated and takes half that damage. No, it does maximum damage. All right. So 42. 42 damage. Nice. Maximum Hell yeah. damage. Nice. Hell yeah. As the spear of energy is just slings forth, it just pierces Zeus in the shoulder and the muttering and crying. Just Zeus is crumpling with pain. You could see that where the spear came into contact, it pulsating. And you see the energy blowing through Zeus right now. Piss. Constitution save to bring Ambrose back. Mm-hmm. That's true. He's gonna mm-hmm. pass it. His con saves are insane. Yeah, it's, he's got to make a twenty-one though. Pass. Oh, does it's he does have to 11. make a twenty-one? Oh, yeah. plus eleven. So the DC no, is eleven. Plus 11. Oh, yeah, he got an eight plus yeah. eleven, so he so did he not failed. make it. DC so, DC for concentration is ten or half damage. Half damage if it's above ten. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Well, Ambrose, you're just back. You just plop back into existence. <laughs> oh, what oh, plane yes. was I at? <laughs> where, well, where was I? You, you were just in a harmless demi plane. Oh, just some regular plane. Lots uh, of just like, It's just where, <laughs> where, it's where <laughs> Daple the Maple exists. When he's not. Oh my god. It's just, just a, a sea of singing Daples. <laughs> Why would you take me to this cursed plane? Very good. Austin, that was a fucking awesome turn. <laughs> yeah, that was great. I'm, I'm, sh- I'm, I'm literally shaking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not My hands are so Come back, everyone. Mm-hmm. You're alive. I don't really know what happened. I was gone for like maybe a second, but I mean, oh, you're alive. Yeah. You were gone. <laughs> I think I was. Yeah, I was. Are you? Are you sure? I. I thought I lost. Time. I thought we lost you. Pickles, watch out for the punch. <laughs> As uh, <laughs> well, he's not gonna punch him, but uh, <laughs> Zeus will t- turn towards Farrick and oh, with. A seething anger, you see him do the same finger motion that he did to uh, Christopher as he casts Crystal Bend. Make me a dexterity saving throw, Ferret. DC 20. Okay. Uh, I have advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical abilities. I'm assuming this is a magical ability because I don't know whatever the fuck else it would be. (laughs) (laughs) That's a crit, that baby. Nice. <laughs> Ferrick just points their hand back and they say, Not today! And catch, catches the energy and throws it behind them. The energy is <laughs> actually the it's like he's taking the crystal energy within you. He's almost like blood bending, right? But like crystal bending, if that makes sense. Like yeah. He's taking your atoms and Democula decay, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, that is it. And Pickles, it's your turn. I really need you to stop fucking with my friends. Uh, and she's just gonna <laughs> wind back and throw it. Okay. Throw another right just swap. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that's a Ted. Yeah, the, <laughs> he just stops your fist with a claw Ooh. hand. Oh, it's on. That's a challenge. <laughs> They're gonna die. Okay. That will be all of Pickle's turn. Okay. He, Zeus, will. Hmm. It's so tense. I'm shaking. Just trying to figure <laughs> out the best way to do this. The twin spell disintegration. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just assuming he has infinite disintegrations right now. <laughs> Well, I wasn't going to use one. that, but that sounds like a good idea. So He only had one. He's done two already. I will tell two. you after how many he has. It's not a lot left, so let's put it that way. Uh, that's, but he will go ahead and he will... No, he's not going to do that. He is going to do something different. As you see, the hand of Sludge just flings itself towards you, Pickles. He is going to try to envelop you in this necrotic sludge, the 25 to hit. <laughs> that hits. Uh, you take eight force damage and 24 necrotic. <laughs> that puts <sighs> Pickles down. Oh, God. This Pickles? ability, if it hits, drops you to zero, you lose two death save throws. Oh, 
as your body begins to decay. And I revert back to small. Armor. Normal size. Mraz, it's your turn. Yeah. Um, okay. He's out of range of uh, my witch bolt, so it, that dissipated. How's he looking? Oh, he's he's terrible. Like, it's, it's not good for him. Like, he is... His body is utterly decomposing, and you see that the flesh that is on him is falling off. It's not great. It's not good. He's, he's right. rough. All right. I'm going to move back into the chamber. I'm going to draw on more of the prince's power from within me and uh, cast Witch Bolt yet again, this time at second level. That's a 25. That does hit. Yeah. All right. That's 18 lightning damage coursing through his decaying flesh. Nice. It heals him because of cardiac arrest. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, That's all. That's all I can do. Okay. He will use a legendary action. He is going to run up to Ambrose. That's not true. Apologize. As he lifts his hand that's clawed and mangled and he begins to seem to unbend uh, trying to decay your very existence Ambrose uh, make me a dexterity saving throw uh, DC 20 uh, 24 awesome man. Oh. as you just you hold strong and you are able to shake your body uh, as it seems to be like there's some sort of line of sight uh, that he has to like hold you in place for a time uh, you're able to move around just in time and then it is Adalia's turn. Uh, did Zeus actually move during that turn? He didn't move in roll 20, but did he no, have he to didn't. move? He did not okay. move. No. No. All right. It's all good, man. I just wanted to make sure. So he's still in the moonbeam. Uh, oh, shit. Damage on that. <laughs> he takes five radiant damage. <laughs> God, that sucks. Um... So Adalia will still holding on to Farrick's hand. Um, she is going to take um, her the decay crystalline form. So some of that same sickly greenish energy that is coursing through Zeus's decaying body starts flickering out between the beams of radiant white light that are sort of cracking through all of her bevels. And she will transfer, uh, because this is her eighth level form, she is only taking half of this damage, but uh, eight plus my druid level, which is six. So that is 14. So. Farrick takes 14 points of HP and Adalia starts bleeding from those places where the decaying light is coming through and takes seven damage herself. Um, She'll fling her hand out to towards Pickles. Sick. Stay with us and we'll cast healing word at second level. Um, counter spell. <laughs> Shoot. As he says, no, die. Oh my god. Okay. Um, she'll just clutch tighter to. If it makes um, you feel good, it's all gone. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Okay. That doesn't really <laughs> help um, right now. <laughs> in my heart um but she will also because she is uh because of her crystalline infusion thing she is going to take the fourth level or fourth level earth crystal feature and her ac is now 19 nice nice and that is the end of her turn i can't believe you just counterspelled my healing word to get pickles up Okay, Christopher will make a death saving throw. And Christopher, I'm going to be fun. And since this is NPC, I will make his death saving throw. And those are I hidden, right? I don't think I could do. Well, no, I I don't. I think we just may have talked about that. But for our sanity, let's not do that <laughs> right now. 
Um, I haven't actually used a real pair of dice in forever. And so just for this <laughs> Davis death saving throw. Nat <laughs> one, one or Nat 20. What is it, There's Carlos? There's no in between. Pull, pull it together, man. It's a Nat one. <laughs> Christopher. <laughs> Hey, why are we using that? Can we be it's using so, the inside? It's so fitting. That's not mm. one. Okay. Yeah, it's so fitting. Okay. <laughs> and Carlos, do you play those as two fails or as auto death? Yeah, it's two oh, fails. It's two. Okay. Okay. All right. The undead dragonlings, the south here, move towards pickles, and will strike. Feasting on their flesh. Pickles. What is happening right now? I said that twenty. It was gonna auto. It was gonna auto. It was gonna auto. If it's if they had two death saving throws, yeah, anyway. That's it. That's this it. is as you just see Pickles' body mangled. Pickles. Wait, so Pickles already failed two? Yeah. 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 Oh wow! Because Sick. of the necrotic. The, basically the necrotic sludge damage if it dropped them to zero they lost two death saving throws as the body was started to decay and the other dragonling will move towards Miraz. and in terms of the dirge of agony are they pushed back is it like fear or did they they strike again can they strike again Just no they're pushed back telekinetic so shove fear. essentially but they can they can come back into the fray yeah yeah okay as it, they will do so, and uh, as they begin their onslaught to you all, Miraz, the first one closest to you, will strike twice with bites, 19 and 21 to hit. Does both hit. As that is 9 plus 6 is 15 points of damage, piercing damage specifically. Okay. The one... Uh, on the south of you, Miraz, will strike with a bite and attack with a tail. The bite is a eight, but the tail attack is a nat 20. Yep. Or 25. That hits. I mean, it's a crit, so yeah. So that is only a three points or seven points of bludgeoning damage. Yep. As it rolled terrible on that. And the one to the southwest is going to just strike with a bite and with a tail. As those are both 23. Those both hit. The bite is seven points of piercing damage. The tail is doo -doo -doo -doo, is six points of bludgeoning damage as these creatures are just mauling, mauling Miraz. Miraz is down. The draggingling that is left will run towards Ambrose and will strike twice two bites. And they both are 16 and a 16. They both pass. Okay. Zeus will use an action and will cast, will throw a ball of energy towards Ferric, cast Chromatic Oil. No, that's not accurate. So that is a, uh, a 42 to hit. That's not <laughs> correct. That is a 23. That hits. And that is only 10 points of necrotic damage, or excuse me, poison damage. And then it is Ambrose, it's your turn. You see Pickles in front of you has just been mauled. The dragonlings are swarming your friends. Zeos seemingly confident in himself. What do you do? I'm going to lower my crossbow, walk towards the throne. All my life, I have been devoted to you. I have given you everything, everything, and once, Vespa, I ask you one time to give me light. Guards of Mornstead, where are you? Protectors of the Queen, where are you? I, us, should not be here alone on this battlefield. Show your fucking selves. And I will pop three shots. Okay. Ambrose also rolled me a D100 when you're done with okay. that. Okay, I will do that. Four. <laughs> Good. I will uh, pop three oh. shots. Uh, chunky Zeos. Not 20. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. There's okay. There she is. There she is. Okay. She, she shows up show in that? mysterious ways. Um, 16 damage on the first shot. Going to pop another shot. 
17 to hit? That does not hit. 17? Okay. I'm going to pop another shot uh, at him. 27. <laughs> yeah, that hits. <laughs> okay. There's a, a 27 to hit. Just making sure. Those guys' stats are enormous. So, and it's 11 damage. Huge, huge stats. Uh, and my turn. Fair. Derek turns to Adalia with tears in their eyes. We have to go. We cannot kill Zeos from the other side of the veil. We cannot do good from there. Are we to leave Christopher and Pickles then? Is that what you propose? It is what must happen. Oh, you must. I can't leave them here. Why the fuck have you done this to me? It's <laughs> <laughs> what I would say. I'm so sorry. It's what my character would do, man. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I will see you on the other side, friend. And Farrakh will kiss your hand and Misty step away. Where? Into the to hall. the door. And then use their action to dash down the hallway as you open the door four heavily armored warriors will appear these are men and women of the ivory guard and as you open the door they'll be right there and they will say what's happening (laughs) we heard there was a monster well, it took you fucking long enough. <laughs> and and Farrick just points to the giant monster in the room who's fucking shit up. And he like grabs them by their gorgets and like pulls them into the room uh. and starts shoving them. You need to go do your fucking job. Farrick, anything else? Are you still running? Farrick's gonna look at Adalia like one last chance. Are you fucking coming with me? She'll smile at them and just shake her head. Her hands still up, holding concentration on the moonbeam. Ambrose! (laughs) (laughs) I'm being surrounded by creatures. (laughs) What? Don't fucking die! Uh, crossbow my right hand. I like barely look at Farrakh, but I just give him a thumbs up with my left hand. (laughs) 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 Like up in the air while I'm like dodging. Farrakh will stay in the fight. And ah, such king activity right now. Oh. So stressed out. <laughs> I'm so stressed. Don't be stressed. Then we'll take a breath. It's all good. <sighs> okay. And Farrakh ends their turn. Zeus will look at this crew and you see the familiar ball of energy come forth as they will use their decaying energy ball. They will make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> well, the first one's a fail. Second one's a fail. Third one's a fail. And then the fourth one is also a fail. As they take 34 points of King energy, all of them. At least they're meat shields. They're just slammed with this energy. The sludge oozing the bodies, erasing and, and frying their armor. They still stand strong. They got jacked up. <laughs> and then it will be their turn as they rip off the decaying armor they rush forth all of them <laughs> just light up like the power rangers <laughs> <laughs> they all will make their giant great swords they will all attack Zeus. 12 misses 25 hits 17 misses and the 22 hits so each of them Two, eight, plus five is 13, plus 10. So it's 23 points of slashing damage as they just hack and maul at Zeus. He screams in pain and agony, but he will use a legendary action to stretch out a claw and strike at one with a 16 that does not hit as it avoids death as this person in front of him dodges out of the way, kind of holding the claw with their great sword. He'll look at someone and say, Someone kill this thing! Maraz, it's your turn. All right, that's safe. All right, that's an eight. That's one fail. Uh, okay. Dahlia, 
You see Moraz, you see Pickles down, you see Christopher down, you see these Ivory Guards people, they're just fighting these Aos. All your life, this person has ruined and destroyed everything you love or could potentially love. What do you do? He still hasn't moved, right? He has not moved. Okay. Moonbeam damage again. Here <laughs> we go. Put that on a shirt. Hit him with a moonbeam. <laughs> uh, 26. Adalia, I want you to think about everything that Zayas has done. <sighs> How inadvertently he helped kill your sister. He slaughtered your family. He's destroyed your town. He has killed their friend. And he has brought nothing but pain and harm and suffering to all of Mornstead, to all of Malandor, and to all of Telthar. So, Adalia, I ask you, how do you want to do it? I am actually crying from relief. Okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> With your moonbeam. Your moonbeam kills him. I know. I know the moonbeam kills him. Kamehameha. Um, Spear bomb. (laughs) Whatever you need to do. um, The entire time moonbeam is on Zeus, he has been catching on, like, ghostly flames have been licking at his decaying skin. And as she sees that the flames are finally starting to, like, slough away, all of this gross, gooey skin, and he's at death's door. She will say, I have dreamed all my life of this moment, and every single person that you have taken from this world will be waiting for you on the other side. I hope you burn now and forever. And then she'll throw her hands out as if to like really dig into it. And the moonbeam just goes like supernova. His gross skin burns away and he'll collapse into just a flaming pile of goo. As Zeus sludge will settle and guards people are stunned, Christopher will wake up, he'll ground and he will say, what happened? As all of you are in this large throne room. What happens to the dragons? The dragons dissipate as well. I apologize. The dragons will disintegrate. You get your finest healer now. And I run towards Pickles and I bolt. Uh, I have no spell slots, but I pull out of whatever I have in my bags. I start digging through. I expend a spell slot so I will take a level of exhaustion. I will put a pill of uh, morphine in its in her <laughs> mouth and see if it works whatsoever. Just try to smack Pickle's face to make make sure they awake. Um, I'm just kind of like freaking out. Uh, I look at the guards. Bring me your healers. They look at each other. Yes, sir. And they'll all move to fetch healers. Pickles will not respond. Maraz, you, you will wake up now too. You are in pain, but you are awake. Ferret will drop their rapier and saunter over to Ambrose and put a giant claw over their shoulder. Ambrose, they they are no longer of this domain. Pickles! Ross is just crawling, like dragging his her um, injured body across the tiles and just cradling Pickles' diminutive, decaying form. Pickles! Pickles, no! I'll run. I'll fetch you. And I'll get up and, like, bolt wherever the knights are. I'm so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Adalia finally let go of the moonbeam, and she still has little sort of sparks of divine light coming out of the bevels in her skin, and she'll go over to Maraz and put a hand I'm on. I'm sorry. Older. Um, she'll kneel down next to Miraz. <laughs> this is not your fault. I'm sorry. Miraz is just paying you absolutely no mind. Doesn't even seem to be aware that you're there. Um, I'll because... pump a second level cure wounds into Miraz with the hand 
on their shoulder. 19 HP restored, so some of the wounds will start to close over, and she'll get down right in front of Miraz and take both of their hands. I think Miraz will actually fight you on that. He's going to do whatever he can to kind of shrug you off and just keep holding on to pickles. Adalia will nod and stand back up and go over to stand by Farrick. You came back. Against my better judgment. Um, I'm going to be running down the hall, looking left to right. I'm assuming that the queen had, like, there's no way the queen didn't have a special healer to make sure that that rot was not keeping her together. So yeah. I am looking for that person. As you open the door, the guards people who you had left are booking it with what seems to be an elderly uh, woman uh, coming with all haste. They enter the throne room. She gasps uh, with all the mangled dead bodies and she just sees everyone and they point to the group over there and she approaches and she says, oh, hello, what what can I do? We need to revivify now. And I bring uh, pickles to her, if you don't mind, uh, Murat. Uh, yeah, seeing seeing the other healer, I will. Um, I, I don't think that I would let you scoop pickles away, but I'll I'll let you kind of lead me toward the healer. Yeah. Well, I will certainly try to do that. This is unlike anything I've ever seen. Whatever you need to do, do it. Do it now. I will try. It, it might not work. I've, it seems as though... We're the, losing time. Do it now. She will stick out a hand, and it's like an infection. It's like fighting off the holy magic that's coming from her. It, like, as the holy magic, like, coils and tries to sink into pickles, it, <laughs> it's as if this power that is on pickles is too much for just normal healing magic. Spunkles will scurry. No one can hear unless they have the rock. No one's holding it. You just see these big dragon tears. Dragon-like tears. Peace. Love. Alma. Christopher will gingerly stand up and walk to Pickles. P -p Pickles? What? What happened? She's... 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 Maraz can't finish it. May I and Farrakh will caress Miraz's back. May I sing a song? Miraz gets like a half nod. Give up. Farrakh will reach into their bag and retrieve their oils and their incense and adorn pickles with various flowers and incense and oils. And smoke starts to rise up and Farrakh begins to sing and casts speak with dead. Pickles, can you hear us? Do I answer? Are you answering? <laughs> can I answer? Quick pause. <laughs> questions for Carlos. Can we? Okay, so Revivify does not work is what you're trying to say. Does not work. Why? I mean, the time limit on Revivify is one minute, and I think that we were significantly beyond that. Is that all it is? There could be more. We don't know the story. That's part of it. Anyways, back to what's happening now. You may answer. No, you, not may answer, but you, you answer, Pickles. Yeah. I do not have many questions, for I know what awaits you. I just, I just wanted to say sorry that I couldn't be more brave for you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what would you like us to do with what remains? Send it home to my pa. If you can. If not, put it on Ambrose's father's doorstep. <laughs> Still funny. <laughs> Does I have four questions left. Does anybody have anything they would like to ask? And Farrick will look to Miraz, who is in this tiefling body, and reach out and hold their shoulder. Just tell her I'm sorry. Maraz, Just tell her I wish I had been a better friend. Muraz says that he is sorry and that he loves you and that he won't ever lie again. 
Is there anything that you wish us to know before you pass? Nope. Such a big old sense. <laughs> no. Is... <laughs> Does Pickles have any trinkets on them? I mean, she has her full sketchbook and all her paints and stuff like that. She also ha- still has Maraz's dead sister's pan flute, by the way. Uh, yeah. Doesn't uh, Pickles wear, like, earrings? Oh, yeah, she's ears? got, like, random... As Christopher sees this, the tears in his eyes, you all will see Christopher take a very somber face... And if you're close enough, you see that there is a flash of energy in them. And he says out loud as he steps towards Pickle's body, I've seen my dad die. I've seen Evangeline die. Spunk, no more. No one else will die because of me. Because I wasn't strong enough. He'll turn to all of you. If you would do me a favor, just tell my family I... I love him. I don't know why, but yeah. As he will form a good berry in his hand, he will place the good berry in Pickles' mouth, and you will see a swell of energy flow from Christopher. His eyes glow as the energy seems to peel away Christopher's skin, and underneath the crystalline form, very similar to that to Abadalia, runs its course through his body, and the energy seems to back itself into Pickles. From the Goodberry, you see Pickles, the decaying flesh sewn together. You see the scars that Pickles has meld. Traces of crystalline energy form itself in Pickles' eyes, always fierce and always unique, now have a green like you as he will cast crystalline transference pickles you will awake and as you wake you see christopher smile but he will slump over and he breathes no more Ow. <laughs> pickles that is where we will end tonight's session <laughs> thanks so much for joining us on powered fail would hate for you to just skip to this episode. If you like what you hear, find us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok. If you're listening on Spotify, out podcast, wherever you get your podcast, leave us a like, give us some stars. We really appreciate the love. Join us on our Discord. We're active there. We'd love to talk with you. I'm sure I'll get some interesting comments, uh, but we love you all. And, uh, Thanks so much for joining in. You're loved, you're important, and you matter. Check us out on Patreon as well. Peace out.